So in the last video we took some readings around this building and we recorded them on our level book and as I said before this is a rise and fall level book um, so what I want to show you in this video is how we take these seemingly, seemingly random figures and actually get something we can actually use out of them so the process is what we do is this first figure here we take away the second figure and if the answer is a, raw, a positive figure it goes in the rise column if it's a negative figure it goes in the fall column so 2.9 sorry 2.395 minus 2.050 is going to give us uh, 0. 345 that's a positive so it goes in the rise column next step we take 1.970 away from 2.050 so that gives us uh, 0. Z sorry 0 0.080 mil difference again a positive so it's still in the rise column 1.970 minus 1.888 gives us a difference of 82 mil, it's still positive, so 0 0.082. Um, 1.888 minus 1 1.808 going to give us a difference of 80 mil or 0 0.080 still a positive so still in the rise column um, keep working our way down we end up difference of 86 mil here next one's a difference of 58 mil and 1.664 minus 1.690 it's going to give us a difference of 55 mil and the next one is the difference of 75 mil 0 0.075 now when we get to here we do this one minus this one which is in the first set of readings so 1.534 minus 1.493 gives us a difference of 41 millimeters okay so now it gets a little bit tricky because this is our change point so now we forget about these figures we're just going to switch over and start back here use this figure and take it away from oh sorry take this figure away from this figure here so 1.732 minus 1.795 that will give us a negative because this number here is bigger than this number there's a negative of 63 mil so because it's a negative it goes in the fall column so 0 0.063 and we keep working our way down so this one minus this gives us a negative again of 64 mil okay so that minus that gives us a negative of 77 mil that minus that gives us a negative of 76 mil that minus that gives us a negative of 40 millimeters that minus that is this a negative of 81 that minus that is this a negative of 83 so all the negatives in the fall column and that minus that gives us a negative of 73 mil uh, 0 0.073 and that minus that gives us a negative 
of 345 mil, so 0 0.345. Okay, so there's all our initial working out done. So we know which ones are, are rising, which ones are falling. Now we can do a quick check just to make sure we're on the right track. So first two checks we can do, we can add these two up. So uh, 2.395 plus 1.732 gives us uh, 4.127. We can add these two up, 1.493 and 2.634. It also gives us, sorry about that one, but that also gives us 4.127 which is what we wanted, actually, sorry, that should be up there. Where is it? Can't paste that in there. Some old formulas coming back. So those two are the same, so the difference between those is obviously zero, which is what we want because this is a closed survey and we started at the same point that we finished, the difference in elevation over the total survey should be zero. That's good. So the next thing we can check is our rise and fall. So if we add up all of these, we actually come up with 0 0.902. So over the total survey, we had a rise of 902 mil. And if we add up all the falls, don't worry about the fact that they're negatives, just add them up as if they were positives. We add, end up with a 0 0.902 two difference as well, which is good because then the difference for that one is zero, so that's fine. So, so far we've got zero for those two, a zero difference on these two, let's put zero in there, oh, so the spreadsheet's not showing zeros, so it's disappearing, and that's what we want, so everything's right so far. So now we're actually going to work out what the actual height is. So we knew what the RL was 10 metres at the start, or well, the datum was 10 metres. We had that written on our sheet, and it was also on the site. So now what we have to do, anything in the rise column gets added, everything in the fall column gets taken away. So 10 plus 345 is obviously going to be 10.345. So that's the RL of our station one. Now what we do is we take our 10.345 and add the next line down. So add 80 mil. So that's going to become 10.425. So then again, 10.425 plus another 82 mil. It's going to give us 10.507. Ten point oh four. Uh, sorry, ten point five oh seven plus eighty mil is ten point five eight seven. Ten point five eight seven plus eighty six is going to be ten point six seven three. Ten point six seven three plus fifty eight mil is ten point. Seven, oh, sorry, seven three one. Ten point seven three one plus fifty five is going to be ten point seven eight six. And we plus seventy five is going to be ten point eight six one plus forty one gives us ten. Point nine oh two, which is good because nine hundred and two that was our total rises. Now this next one is in the fall column, so ten point nine oh two minus sixty three is going to give us ten point eight three nine. Well, oh, three nine and minus sixty four will give us 
10.775 minus 77 will give us 10.698. 10.698 minus 76 equals 10.622. Take away 40 equals 10.5. 82. Take away 81 is going to give us 10.501. 10.501 minus 83 will give us 10.418. Minus 73 will give us 10.345. And 10.345 minus 0 0.345 will give us 10 metres, which is good because that is back to our datum and we know that the RL of our datum was 10 metres. So the difference between our first RL and our last RL is zero. So our spreadsheet or our level book works out and it is correct and our survey is accurate. So that's how we use a level book to work out our levels. So now we know that 0.3, for example, is 507 mil higher than our datum. Or 0.9 is 902 mil higher than our datum. Okay, so that's the usefulness of a level book. Remember the three checks. Add up your back sites. Add up your four sites. And work out the difference. Add up your rises, add up your falls, work out the difference. And your first RL and your last RL, work out the difference of those. If you've done a closed survey, so you started at the same point uh, that you finished, then your difference should be zero. If you didn't do a closed survey, uh, it doesn't matter, just that you'll have a margin of difference. But that margin of difference should be the same for the first check, the second check, and the third check. Should be the same difference. That way, the the, uh, the uh, level book will still be accurate. So there we go. That's how we use a rise and fall level book to work out our levels. In the next video, I'll show you how to use the height of collimation level book to work out the uh, the same figures.